The Associative Property of Multiplication We know that when switching the factors in a multiplication equation, the product stays the same. But what if the multiplication sentence contains three factors? Let's go through an example. What is the product of 4 times 2 times 3? When we have more than two numbers, we can group factors together using parentheses. This makes it easier to read and find its value. Let us group 4 and 2 together. The multiplication sentence now looks like this. So, what is the product? Start by multiplying the numbers inside parentheses first. 4 times 2 equals 8. Now we have two numbers. 8 times 3 equals 24. Okay, great! But suppose we go back to the original sentence and we group together the last two numbers, 2 and 3. Let us now evaluate the new multiplication sentence. Start with the numbers inside parentheses. 2 times 3 equals 6. Now we have two numbers to multiply. 4 times 6 equals 24. We got the same answer. As you can see, it did not matter which two numbers we multiplied first. We can group any two numbers together and still get the same final product. Grouping the numbers differently in multiplication sentences and getting the same answer is a result of the associative property of multiplication. By this property, if we know that 4 times 2 times 3 equals 24, then we also know that 2 times 3 times 4 equals 24. In this lesson, you learned about the associative property of multiplication.